Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave. I know it's been a bit since I filmed and or published some videos, but life's been kind of dry. 50 hour weeks, split days off, doesn't help uh, with the film and the videos because you're just tired. But I'm on vacation right now, so yippee skippy dippy doo. This is another uh, Guess the Grade. This is The White Knight Presents Harley Quinn, number one, cover A. Signed by Sean Gordon Murphy or Sean Murphy, whichever one he prefers now. Um, I got this in a eBay lot. I got basically 10 copies of this book. Five of cover A and five of cover B. I sent cover A in because the cover A's look the best because cover B had a bunch of black on it. Or, you know, black ink and black spaces which could easily ding and nick. And I didn't feel like fighting with that. So I sent this one in. It is... Uh, the first appearance of Hector Quimby, a layered gloss cover, and it includes pinups by Matteo Scalera and Sean Murphy. It was signed by Sean Murphy on 4-8-2022. Well, that's interesting. They had Sean Murphy and Glenn Fabry there the same day. But now that I've explained how I got this book uh, online, a little signature right there. Here we go. Katia Collins was supposed to uh, sign as well, but she had to, to, to not sign, which kind of sucks. That would been cool to get two on this. I like to get as many creators on the books as possible, which is why a lot of my books that I took to San Diego and WonderCon have multiple signatures on it. But CBC, CBCS is the only one that will verify the signatures. It's kind of pricey, so i got to wait sometimes because there's... But for, for I have I think I have the first eight, nine Daredevils all signed by Kevin Smith, Jimmy Palmiotti, and Joe Casada. I love to send those in. I've got some Preacher signed by Steve Dillon and uh, Garth Ennis. I want to get Fabry on there before I send them in. But let's do a drum roll. What'd you guess? Because you probably were wrong. Ah, 9-6. Not bad for an unpressed book I got through the mail from eBay. And God knows who touched it. But, uh, yeah, the back cover is actually kind of cool. The Joker is dead. Batman is behind bars. In a new age of villains, only Harley can save Gotham. Gotham, Gotham, Gotham. Gotham, Gotham. I'm surprised they haven't made this into an animated yet. At least that one, the first one. Because it would probably be successful if they kept the art style and everything. I will say I am not the biggest fan yet of uh, the DC animated stuff. Because Hush and The Killing Joke... I did not like either of them and how they did it and how they changed the story. That pissed me off. Um, I have The Long Halloween, both those to watch, and The Dark Knight Returns, both those to watch. I've been told uh, by several people uh, that they're very good. I just don't know how well-versed those people are in comic books. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard when you've been collecting since you were eight, and most of the people you know haven't been al alive as long as you've been collecting, if that makes sense. Because um, I've been collecting 98, or 88. Holy shit. Almost 30 years. 25 years. Oh my god, I'm old. Anyways, yes, this beautiful book is now signed. I have a Sean Gordon Murphy signature in my collection. Very happy about it. What are you looking forward to sending to, getting? I know con week, the cons are starting to pick up. I've got some Megacon. I've got a... Oh my god, what's the word? Not purveyor. Uh, someone who will take the books and get them signed by Jeff Loeb and Ed McGinnis. So I'm excited about that at Megacon because I've met Jeff Loeb on multiple occasions. I've never gotten to meet Ed McGinnis, but I want to get their signatures on one of their Superman runs issues and one of their Superman Batman run issues. So I'm excited for that. I know I'll have the money for it. Thanks to Side Hustle. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Did you like this book? Did you read this series? Did you like it? Do you like Sean Gordon Murphy's take on it? Um, and if you do like Sean Gordon Murphy, I would suggest Joe the Barbarian with Grant Morrison. That is a very good tale. But yeah, like, subscribe, comment. What you're looking forward to signing? What you're looking forward to send out? What you're looking forward to getting back? Let me know in the comments. Bye.